Two Icelandic geoscientists, a volcanologist and a geophysicist, have came to the same conclusion through a simple method, and they drawn a diagram. These are uh, Grimur Björsson and Harald Dorsigortsen, two of the Icelandic geologists who have uh, actually collaborated together on a website, and they have created a model, and based on that, draw a diagram. Very simple, it shows what the Icelandic Meteorological Office have provided in the numbers of the days past since accumulation of the magma started to the time that it erupted. So, cumulative volume of the magma is in the column third. You can see it here. And the collection time for that magma to gather under the Swartz and Yorkanic system is in the column two. I will show them my number one and two so you can see that. He has divided, they have divided number one columns number one to number two and came to the conclusion for the average speed through cubic meter per day, million cubic meters per day in the column three. And then they plotted it on a diagram. And the diagram shows that if you follow that uh, through uh, two lines, the green line is without the waste uh, of the March 2nd, which actually around two million cubic meters of magma was wasted. The yellow line shows the, if you consider that, the time is added to that. They all show that by the August 2024, we will have come to the end of the Swartzengi volcanic system where there will be no magma flow into the system. Based on the data that we have, they came to this genius conclusion. I will give you the link for this and you can read it for yourself in their website. Their diagram is so simple and so beautiful and it looks to be right when it is simple.